Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Frazzy here today with another war recap. As you can see, we just won by three. It was a very close one, and I personally think that this was a very weird raid. Because as you can see, I attacked number two and three. First one I attacked was a 90%, and if you go look here, I had two 90%, ran out of time on both of them, and I, or troops died. And I honestly thought it was hilarious because 290% in a row. Like, how? How? I mean, they were both two stars. They were both great. We did end up winning. And let me go ahead and show you the number one attack here by our leader. And it's a back and forth here with uh, the Go Vape, Go Vape or uh, La Lunion. It's honestly a back and forth. Drawed out the CC, brought him up towards top. Quad Quake in here. And most of the time, I don't really ever see this really going well. But they bring two P.E.K.K.A.s instead of one. So that's still a good way to do it. Here comes the Valkyries. Oh, no, they stopped, sadly. Golem, Golem. Waits, throws in the Wizards in behind. And also to create the funnel. But they're also going to be taking out the CC. Here comes the Wall Breakers. No Mortars or Wizard Towers. So they take them out. That Wall Breaker is going far for it. <laughs> Here comes the Valkyrie, the P.E.K.K.A.s. The heroes, here comes the first heal spell. Rage coming in right shortly in the core, I would hope so. Oh no, the stuff is going to the outside here. That's not good. Oh, what? They retarget all the way out to the outside? Wow. I have not previewed any of these attacks. There's a the second uh, heal spell. And those Valkyries are doing some stuff out there on the outside, which is still good. Uh, wizards on the inside. I can't really speak right now. Still got two nicely health Pekka's there. King's taking some damage. No ability taken yet. But as you can see, there's really not any troops here helping out that much. Oh, no, there's still... No, no Valkyries. There's the King's ability to break through the wall. Queen's taking out some defenses there. Been better off if she was to take out the Mortar first, but it's whatever. Pekka on the outside's doing some major cleanup there. There's not really much left here. The golden's going to die. Still got P.E.K.K.A.s, the king, and the queen. The queen's being targeted. The king's going to die here shortly. Still have the queen's ability, and it's honestly just going to be up to the P.E.K.K.A., the queen, and those wizards. Well, the minion can't die, honestly, unless there's a bomb. Queen runs out to the outside, and luckily the way this base was built, you only had to get into the core, and then they could just go out, funnel back around, which is a good idea. But still need spring traps, etc. in on the inside there. As you see, there are none. And that's what costs them that three star. Pretty fantastic, you know. Alright. Well, here you see my attack, right? It, it's a rush base. Well, tunnel eight, level seven, or tunnel seven walls. Tunnel eight, tunnel seven, uh, air defenses. Expo. That's why he was so far up in the uh, war Leaderboard, I guess, because of the Expo. And the Expo is going to do some work to my king. I wanted one air defense out, you know. And this is where I made my mistake. Honestly, I took out too many air defenses. I took out the one out here and the one out there. I could have kept all three of these here and got rid of just the air sweeper out there on the outside. But I didn't, and I honestly think that could have saved my raid and caused me to have a three-star. But unfortunately... I, I rushed it a little bit. Queen's taking some heat. As you see, I only have one air defense there left because I used my queen on the other one. And that's honestly what ruined my raid. Because that air defense there is going to be taken out quite quickly. And it's nothing's really there to take out my hounds for the cleanup. And so, therefore, I'm going to run out of time. I do do well in this space. But my hounds just really never got popped. So, I didn't get to three start. And I've learned that over and over because it's happened multiple times. So make sure if you take out air defense, don't take out too many or your hounds won't get popped and you won't have cleanup troops for later. Uh, I'm wor currently working on upgrading my army camp so I can carry more. But again, it, it came down to time and my hounds weren't popped for those lava pups to help clean up. And you'll see that here in a second. Uh... Two defenses left that can actually do damage and a king that's just going to screw around with me here in a second. 
And I got lucky that this that the loons went for the town hall. That's probably one of the best parts there. Still have three hounds. Look at that. One there and two over here. And wow. Now here's the fun part of the loons <laughs> going after the king here. Back and forth, back and forth. That's what really wasted my time. And I had an archer over there to kind of help on those army camps to get as much percentage as I possibly could. And time ran out. So make sure you plan your attacks correctly or time is against you. Even though it's always against you, sometimes you can finish quite quickly and three star. But make sure you plan out your attacks well. And this one was cleaned up, but uh, the same thing happened. 90% ran out of time. I used dragons. Uh, just for the fun of it, I load it around and uh, just made it, basically I was showing how to funnel your dragons. I wasn't too worried about getting the three star because uh, our higher guys come up and clean or take go down and help clean up. So here comes baby dragons and that was another issue with what I had. Um, so the golems are in, wizards are here to uh, funnel here comes the Valkyries. Those baby dragons are not raged because there's more than one air troop there. So they're not going to be raged. And that's a big downside. The rage is down. The king's down. All the core is about to be taken out. Those Valkyries are taking a lot of damage. So they're not going to be surviving much longer because that wizard tower is just going to wipe them out. You got a solo peck over here. The wizard's going to basically take everything out over there. King's ability has been used. Wizards are raged up. And they're basically taking out everything there. Oh, wow, you can barely see this wizard because of the explosion. Corner building's taken out. Perfectly good. And the P.E.K.K.A. is still smacking a wall. The P.E.K.K.A. has gotten nothing done. Now it's just down to two archer towers. And not it's, it's clean up at this point. Because you see you have a full health golem there. It's going to go work all the way around to this archer tower. And it's going to distract for everything. Wow, clutch. Scaly's dragging those wizards down so far. That's actually, that was perfect. If not, it probably took more time. That golem probably exploded and couldn't have went that well, personally. That's why I think. And there's the second three star. Fantastic. And since our top guys go down and hit farther down, we do end up letting our lower guys that need to upgrade more come up, higher up, one star base, and loot. Now this is a mini account, or second mini, along with a I go wipe, I would assume. And executed really well. I'm not too great with these strategies, but then again I could improve. It's just I'm not really confident with these walls and going through after the quad quake. That's why you bring wall breakers, of course. So got the CC pulled, brought it out to the corner with the golem. Throw down the wizards. So those wizards are going to fan out and help funnel with those Valkyries. It's not Valkyries. So not, no. Why am I talking about There's not even Valkyries. This, this is how often I'm seeing go vape. <sighs> Pekka is to go into the core along with the king. And triple Pekka going on the outside there. Uses the wall breakers to funnel them back in right after this. Uh, ooh, ooh, look at that clutch. Look at that clutch. Good job, wizard. Now they're going to be going into the core here. The golem's taking some heat. Wizard's taking some heat. Here comes the Tesla's. First raid, well, actually the last rage. Those triple P.E.K.K.A.s are going to be demolishing everything here. Get the wizards on the outside to help on the outer ring there. The king is going down. Needs to use that ability just like that to help get through, push through, and tank for those wizards a little bit longer. Still got the golem up. Only one, oh, okay, you got a golem and a golemite. Pekka's out here doing some work to a wall. Here comes wall breakers. Um, that was a little late, um, but they survived and was able to get that Pekka into that mortar. Got a couple wizards on the outside there. Still have builder huts on the outside, which luckily got an archer up there taking care, care of that one. Went out there, and then it just leaves that one with those wizards. And now it's down to archers, Pekka's. And a wizard. Well, three wizards. My bad. Giant, or mini bomb. Okay, well, luckily this wizard's going to take out that elixir storage. And those P.E.K.K.A.s are going to move in. And that's 
GG to this base. That's another three star. Yeah. Doing great. All right, so this is fairly low tack, and I don't want to show this, but then again, for those lower town hall people, here are some ways you always want to lure the CC here, pull them out, and try to take them out then. As you see, only one wizard, so a dragon will do perfect for this. And they ignored the... Oh, wow. But make sure you get all the CC there. And that dragon's going to do quite some bit until it comes across those air defense. Use just the loons and the baby dragon in the CC. The loons didn't target the CC simply because they did that last. So the hogs are going in. If you use hogs, place them in different spots. Don't spam them all at once or that's going to happen. The heal spell does help a minges. Fantastic. Helps a lot, you know. So here I'd use another heal spell just to help out and keep some hogs alive. But... Just not yet. Still have barbarians to help out clean up, which I would already be placing them down on this bottom side and on those corner buildings. So loons are going to be taking out this last air uh, last defense building. Here goes all the barbarians. The king, no ability yet, sadly. The baby dragon's rage because it's away from the dragon, which is perfect. Help clean up a lot faster. And it's going to take some time with these barbarians and the low level king. Always make sure you can get your king and your queen up as fast as possible. That's a key component, and that baby dra dragon is not raged. Not fantastic. And now, it's just a uh, race to here and back up. Anything in the corner? Nope. Now, who's going to make it first? Ooh, that baby dragon's first. Fast. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, it's raged now. Oh, oh, dragon, you missed your opportunity. Oh, how's the king catching up to you? He had to run around. And the baby dragon snatches it for the win. Whew. Now let's go ahead and just jump into those war stats here. As you can see, seven attacks, 17 attacks used. How many attacks? Oh, we had three attacks remaining. They had seven. We only lost one, and uh, that was due to someone just spamming all their dragons in one spot and just basically quitting on it. We had 99% average destruction. No heroic defensive, sadly. That's That's sad. Really. That is really sad. Let's look at how they did. Two star, two star, two star, three star, two star. And that's basically what caused it. If they used their attacks and were able to three star, number five, number three, and me, they could have tied it and possibly won. But who knows? And I'll see you guys into tomorrow's video and see you guys next time. Bye.